Hello everybody, I am Elham from Skin Chakra, the place to purchase excellent quality cosmetic raw material and to learn how to formulate like a cosmetic chemist. And today, Svetlana and I are going to show you how to make a fail-proof kiss emulsion with an amazing texture and skin feel. We have expanded our repertoire and we are going to show you how to make one emulsion but we have prepared six different emulsions with six different gum combinations. We are just going to show you one of them, which is our favorite of all the six, but I'm going to explain you about the six emulsions here. We have combined our Solagum AX, which is itself a blend of Acacia and Xanthan gum, with the Tara gum and combined them in different combinations and came to one that we love the most and has the best texture and skin feel. This one is a classic one with 0.5% Solagum AX. Uh, is quite attractive, has a nice texture and a very nice skin feel on its own. But to jazz it up, we blended it with other gums. This is a 0.4% Tara gum, and if we compare the two beside each other, you see that Tara gum is slightly whiter than Sola gum. Sola gum appears slightly yellowish compared to the Tara gum. Now, Tara gum reaches its full capacity and hydration at around 70 degrees. We have prepared one emulsion, cold process, the other one is hot process. The gum dispersion was here at room temperature and in this sample, the gum dispersion was at 70 degrees. They look very much the same. All of them are stable, are lovely in texture and skin feel, but the hot process has a slightly higher viscosity. All of the viscosities are uh, shown in the blog post in the diagram so you can compare the viscosities together. This one is 0.3% Taragam plus 0.1% Solagam AX looks quite fluffy and like a whipped cream. This one is an equal combination of the two gums, 0.2, 0.2%. And our absolute favorite in terms of texture and skin feel is this one with 0.1% Tara gum and 0.3% Sola gum AX. And this is the one that we are going to show you in the uh, video. But all of them uh, are the same, only the combination of the gum changes. So if you have the formulation for one of them and the procedure for one of them, you can easily uh, change and uh, swap the gums and change the combination and find the one that you like the most in your formulation. Uh, the formulation is quite easy. We kept it kiss as always and all of the uh, procedure and uh, combinations are available on the blog uh, together as the uh, viscosity chart for all of these six combinations. I hope you'll enjoy making and using uh, these formulations and I encourage you to blend your gums in different combinations to come to the one that you like the most and that the one that satisfies your purposes and matches your concept the best. Follow Svetlana to see how she makes this emulsion.
Since this is a hot process, we are using plain distilled water instead of a hydrosol. We are adding arginine to the water to slightly increase the pH because our preservative system reduces the pH. This is a very KISS formulation. We kept it as simple as possible. So the water phase consists of only arginine to increase the pH, sodium PCA for its uh, moisturizing properties, as well as aquaxil for its moisturizing uh, properties and then our natural chelator which is PA3 to boost the preservative efficacy and antioxidant properties of the uh, complete formulation. We will uh, blend the gums and then disperse and hydrate the gums at room temperature. Our gum is a blend of Solagum AX, which itself is a blend of acacia gum and xanthan gum, and then we are blending that with taragum, which has a very nice and smooth skin feel and an elegant flow. These gums together make a synergetic uh, effect and improve the stability as well as skin feel and flow of the product. All of the gums could be hot or cold dispersed. For Solagum AX, there is almost no difference between a hot dispersion and hydration and cold process. For Taragum, the uh, viscosity would be slightly higher if you hot disperse it, but since we are going to hot process anyway, we will first disperse the gum in cold water and then we will uh, heat the water phase and blend it with the oil phase. We now blend the oil phase. It is a blend of tiger nut oil, which has a low iodine value and could excellently be used in hot process. It has a very nice skin feel. Then the emulsifier and a tocopherol as an antioxidant. As mentioned, we have kept this formulation really silly sample. So the oil and water phase both go in a water bath. This emulsifier is rather unforgiving when it comes to temperature. So you need a temperature between 82 and 85, not much lower, not much higher. So our Gum has been dispersed and we can now start heating both the oil and water phase. The temperature is 84. So our cream is now completely cooled down. It's time to stop stirring. We can now add the essential oils and then measure the pH before adding the preservative. Look at this nice and fluffy texture.
The essential oils are a blend of patchouli and ylang ylang oil. And now we'll prepare a 10% dilution in distilled water and we'll measure the pH. The pH is 8.36. Don't freak out, that's okay. Our preservative system reduces the pH uh, completely and it will be probably quite in the range when we add the preservative. We now add the preservative, prepare another 10% dilution, and then remeasure the pH. Now we are measuring the pH after adding the preservative, and hopefully it should be in range, or we will leave just a little bit of lactic acid to reduce the pH in the desired range. The pH is 684 and we need to add lactic acid to reduce the pH. Since reducing the pH at the end of the formulation is easier than increasing it, we deliberately added a little bit more of the arginine and it would be then easier to add the lactic acid to reduce the pH than to increase it when the emulsion uh, has reached its, its high viscosity. We have added just one drop of 80% lactic acid for a 100 gram batch. And as you see, our pH is now completely in the range and the emulsion is finished. The emulsion is finished now and you can see the silky consistency. It looks rather like a whipped cream than an emulsion. We'll now take the stability and micro kit samples and fill the emulsion in a suitable container and we'll show you the finished product in the container.